Hi friends, it's Sleepy, and we're playing the Ultimate Decades Challenge. It's been one month since Thomas's passing. Despite knowing it was coming, we were still taken by a complete surprise when he succumbed to his illness. Gia has stayed with the family to help Mary tend the children. Today we will be holding our funeral, which we postponed until the first moon cycle ended for superstitious olden time reasons. Today is also the day when we will meet Mary's new husband. It's been so sad here. The toddlers took it really badly because they just don't understand. The older children just seem numb to it. And then look at this. Baby Edward is a spitting image of Thomas. She is letting Mary sleep in a bit. But everyone else I think should wake up. Oh, she did not dream about Joseph, Mary, uh, and Elizabeth. I gotta give this family a pass because it's been a hard time. Don't mind uh, Gia's modern suitcase. We did an official stay over. I wish the children could change toddler and baby diapers. Oh, because both toddlers just did it. That's right, Marjorie, you better watch. Everyone's complaining that the toddlers stink. Everyone's starving. Hurry up, Mary. Let's go. They're like little hounds. Look at them lined up. Eat up. And then Mary, I guess, take care of this little kiddo. At noontime, we all have to get ready for the funeral. William, that is so not like you. Oh, I did get a notification that William was going through a rebellious stage and right here he's going through a phase he is feeling very rebellious and will seek to challenge parental authority i definitely think that's because of his grief and oh my goodness why okay it's time to have our little memorial service and release thomas's spirit to the netherworld so we're gonna have Joseph and Shanna come over and just keep it amongst family. Gonna have no tree. <laughs> really, Joseph? Release spirit. Releasing Thomas's soul to the netherworld will forever free his spirit from this mortal realm. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we are sure. We have to let Thomas go. This family has to move on. This, this is wild. I'm gonna just tuck that away. They make a quick recovery with that crying. Alright, we did that. Where? Joseph! Extinguish! Extinguish? Ex extinguish? I don't have any other adults here. What the? Is he okay? We have to kill this. Oh my god. I thought we weren't going to get the kids out of the house. I was really quiet through all that because I was so tense. I'm putting everything... Oh, nine years later we get the baby out. Oh my god. I can't even. Oh, how's everyone? Joseph. Joseph. Oh my god. Oh. And, oh, someone had time for a bath. Honestly, I really thought you were about to lose people. Alright, it's time to meet our new husband. Ooh. Here is Robert Vincent. He is Mary's new husband. 
handpicked by the landlord. Robert is a widower twice. His first wife died during childbirth along with the child. His second wife died from some sort of illness before they conceived children. And then his sister also passed away from childbirth. Robert takes care of his niece, his sister's daughter, and he's a paranoid sim. He's so scared of ever causing pain for a woman again. And here Mary is already surviving, having all these kids, and they don't have to make more. I'm pretty sure he plans on being celibate for the rest of his life. <laughs> now, um, I did see that upon entering our lot, he does think Mary's very attractive, so maybe it will be hard to resist temptation, but I assure you his fears are significant around these things. So welcome, Robert Vincent. I'm going to have them just do sort of a hand fast marriage. They're just going to say we're husband and wife, and the community is going to acknowledge this. There will be no need for a romance bar or a friendship bar to do this. You'll see this house is in utter turmoil. So part of this marriage pact came with the decision to send Magdalene and Henry once he ages up to Joseph and Shanna's household. Gia, you gotta calm down with that. Look at Robert, oh, what he hard at work taking care of us. He's gonna work out well. Gia's literally killing me. So we did decide that his niece will also go stay with um, Joseph and Shanna. Why is she running around with the baby for? I still feel traumatized about the fire. Oh my god. Jeez Louise. What will happen to her? Oh, okay. Manners are suffering. Okay, so Robert's bed is actually going to be this one. Oops. Because, you know, he's not trying to do all that. He's going to clean this floor for her. And now, I think the bed situation's all set. Maybe Robert would be so kind as to do the laundry. So tomorrow, I will take you all... Actually, tonight, we're going to... Leave the newlyweds here to figure out what's the meaning of life. Because life is different right now and it is strange. Mary's kind of just setting herself up for this companionship type relationship. It's not about romance, not about love, which is fine. And he's going to figure out how to blend in with this family. Marjorie's struggling right now. Are you okay, honey? Hmm. Oh, that was so cute. He was talking his little brother to bed. Whispering sweet nothings, I'm sure. Okay, and we are at Joseph and Shanna's house. I'm here just to set up beds for the two girls. Actually, they can use the upstairs bed for now since Gia's not here yet. Magdalene's here, and then this is Anne Wild. Um, going crazy on the rocking chair. I'm glad she's so comfortable here. Oh, I had to get her dropped out of school. So <laughs> she is about one year younger than William. What is it, 13, 12? So William is 11 years old. So Anne is 10. And her mother only died about three years ago, so she does remember that pain. And her father died the same year um, before the mother did. She's a tough girl, though, and she adores her uncle and she trusts him. He just felt like it'd be less stressful for her in Joseph's quieter home. And Shanna could use the help from the two girls because 
They have a lot of property to tend to. They have to sell their goods to, and Shanna has to help with the sale of that. They have the blacksmith shop. There's just a lot going on in this home, but in a different way. It'll definitely be a calmer place. And we'll be seeing a lot of oh, Anne and Magdalene, just as always, because the cousins will definitely get together and have fun. Oh, Joseph must be an attentive daddy. Let's age up Rebecca. Ooh, struggle. Let's see her. Rebecca aged up, and she's going to be wiggly, just like Edward. Oh my gosh, what is going on with her? <laughs> Blonde eyebrows? You can't with that. Alright, let me fix everything up here. Alright, so everyone's fixed up. There's trash everywhere, apparently. Where's the babe? Okay, weird. Alicia's getting her. It's time for this family to go to bed, too. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. How is she over here? Is this child haunted? How did she end up over here? That's weird, and I don't like it. But as I was saying, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care.